I've been wearing glasses since I was 16. It was around the time when I first started driving and I was like, whoa, I cannot see those street signs. So I immediately got glasses and have been wearing them ever since. If I'm not wearing glasses, I will either just not be able to see or I'll wear contacts, which have never been my favorite. A lot of people talk about like, feeling as though their contacts have disappeared into their eyes and wow, that has never been my experience. I always feel like they are uncomfortable and dry and sometimes give me headaches. So when I first started hearing about LASIK, I realized that this might be the long-term solution that I had been looking for. I put some feelers out to my audience to see if they had any first-hand experience with LASIK and the response was overwhelmingly positive. I feel like the two main things I heard were it was the best money they had ever spent and that their only regret was that they hadn't done it sooner. Um, so it, honestly, it was talking to y'all that really tipped the scales into me booking my consultation. So I connected with Kelly Vision Laser, which is one of the top LASIK centers in New York City, and I came in for a consultation to see if I might be a good candidate. They did a full eye exam and ran like five or six different tests. I'll be honest, I do not really remember what they were testing for, but um, it all felt very science fiction. Lots of robots looking in my eyes. Uh, and then I got to chat with Dr. Kelly. Immediately, I felt so comfortable um, and knew I would be in great hands. He was really chill and knowledgeable and answered any questions and concerns that I might have about the procedure. I am headed into Manhattan to get LASIK. I am not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous, um, but Dr. Kelly has told me that the whole thing only lasts 15 minutes, which is wild. I can't believe that tomorrow morning when I wake up, I am not gonna need to reach for my glasses. Andrew's here for laser vision correction, specifically he's getting LASIK. So what we do before each procedure is we remeasure the patient. We also do measurements on the day of the consultation, but we repeat them on the day of the procedure, which is today. Have you been vaccinated? I, uh, yeah, double vaxxed out of my waiting period. Perfect, yeah. perfect. So this is a shout out for people to get vaccinated. <laughs> Please do. Yes, better one or better two. Um. This is one, and this is two. Uh, I would say one. Okay, more subtle, but mm -hmm. better one, two. Uh, two. One, three. Um, three? <laughs> All right, so I just took a couple of Valium. I'm feeling no pain. Uh, about to go into surgery, and I can't believe I am about to never need glasses again. And have perfect vision. We are getting Andrew prepped for the procedure. So we clean his eyelashes and put some numbing drops in and get him comfortable. And that's what's happening now. And I'll keep you guys apprised of each step as we do it. procedure we make sure the laser has met all the specifications and so we call it a calibration and we do this before each procedure so two times uh, for each patient because we do uh, the right eye and the left eye so make sure all of the machines are performing exactly as they're intended to. And so I'm going to ask you to continue looking at that circle of lights and you are now and I'm going to place a safety device in your eyelid so that you don't blink in a short while it takes to do the procedure. Great. Perfect, Andrew. Just like that. No squeezing, no moving. Good. Very good, Andrew. Ready. Perfect. Four seconds remaining. Three seconds. Two seconds, Andrew. One more second. But the difficult part of the procedure is already complete and it's going extremely well. Like I said before, you have the best abs ever. So I'm gonna have you go ahead and sit up and just show people how to do it. Okay. Let's get this up. The laser procedure is all finished. Uh, and we're gonna have Andrew relax with his eyes closed for the next 10 minutes or so. I'll check him before he leaves and give him some post-laser instructions. All right. Yeah, that was so easy. I mean, it looked very difficult what you were doing, but... <laughs> No way. Hey. That's wild. <laughs> Good morning, friends. It is the morning after the surgery, and y'all, when I woke up this morning, I could see. The first thing I did was look at the bookcase right next to my bed, and for the first time, I could read all of the titles. 
I cannot believe how quick and painless the procedure was. Um, Dr. Kelly did let me know that afterwards, once the anesthesia wears off, that I would be pretty uncomfortable, and he was not lying. Uh, about like an hour afterwards, my eyes definitely started burning. Um, but luckily, uh, it was towards the end of the day when I got the procedure done, so I just popped a Tylenol PM and went right to sleep. I get to wear these pretty sweet goggles while I'm sleeping uh, for the next few nights so I don't accidentally rub my eyes in my sleep. But yeah, I woke up and I was in no pain and I fully, I, I can see in the distance. Like I'm now noticing things in my apartment. Like I can read the clock on the microwave or like I can see birds flying in the distance through my window. Medical science is wild y'all, I'm telling you. Thank you to Dr. Kelly and everyone at Kelly Vision. They were so comforting and helpful and have really given me a gift that I am going to have for the rest of my life. Um, if you have any questions about LASIK, like feel free to drop a comment below and I'll try to answer it based on my experience. Also, you could follow Dr. Kelly. He's on social media as well probably knows a lot more about this than me. Um, if you are considering LASIK, I highly recommend Kelly Vision if you're in the New York area. Um, and yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go outside now with my sunglasses and I don't know, look at leaves on trees or like count the windows on the Empire State Building. All right, see you gang.